Hello, I'm back. Uh, this is this is really great. Um, uh, I've got a lot of pictures yesterday and cartoons. I even got one from Australia from Al or Alex in grade two. Thank you. Uh, pictures of kids touching their uh, epiglottis. Um, that's that's great. So this is a way to get this isolation thing and, and and have fun. So I'm glad you're enjoying it. Today's is very special show, but I I, I got to explain something. I'm in my office, and that's the chair. Yeah, it's not yesterday's lesson, it's the chair, okay? So, if you hear something like that, it's the chair. Today I'd like to show, share with you two original stories. Um, let me tell you about them. Whitney, Whitney Huno, I've got to get used to saying Huno again, uh, she was my EA. And an EA is an educational assistant, which is the most important part of a classroom. And uh, we drove every day from Camrose to Norway, and the kids loved her. But she was a great artist, and uh, she was a lot of fun to have in class because a lot of times she would leave the classroom when a kid answered a question kind of wrong, maybe just explaining something about the fertilizer that their dad has or something. So she would have to leave and, and giggle. But she made these characters, these little monsters, and I said, you know, we can probably work together, your little monsters, and we can make a book, a kid's book, which is kind of appropriate because uh, Whitney is expecting a baby. So she is now isolated, hoping she doesn't get anything. She has a baby coming along, and oh, what, that the sun went down? Who knows? This is, gonna, this is, this is what we call live. I, I lost all electricity in the house, probably. But anyway, yes, sorry. Okay, so, first of all, let's get to our first story, because this one she's illustrated. Take a look at her monsters. The key to a kid's book, I think, is colors. So I'm going to flip this around. My tripod broke. <laughs> and never mind. Okay, so just let me turn this thing. Okay. Now my tripod broke, so I'm going to try to... So, and I was going to put it on landscape, but I guess you can't put FaceTime in landscape. This one's called Darian Gets Bullied. We all hate being bullied, but let me set this all up here. I gotta hold it and it's breaking and this is a lot better when your tripod works. So here we go. Darian loves going to school and he's friends with everyone. One day, Darian saw a group of kids around his friend Lou. They were teasing him. You're so short. You smell bad. You only have three toes. Now take a look at these characters. I love how they're drawn. Notice how bright they are. Purple and red. And, and look, you, you just, it's, it's, they're great. They're great. They're great. Whitney, just freaking great. Okay, let's, oh, sorry, let's keep going. Darian could see that Lou was very upset. So he stepped in and said, leave Lou alone. Lou doesn't look too happy, does he? They all turned to Darian, and Ethel said, <laughs> You're just as goofy as him. Darian did not like this. Nice pokey things on your head, said Frank. You're so yellow, said Mark. Darian went home very upset that night. So this is how a book goes. This is the divider for the page. So a page goes like this, and look at this page. And there's even, Whitney's drawn legs on a star and the moon too. She's so talented. The next day, the bullies were waiting for him. You have no legs. Stop, said Darian. Bullies are just people not confident and have to Pick on other people. You're purple, said Darian. And, and you're so tall. And the bullies started to cry. But Darian said, Ethel, I love your bow. I wish I had legs as long as yours, Mark. Look, Darian didn't have any. 
I think your antenna are great, Frank. And they all started to smile. And the others looked at Darian and Lou and said, It must be great being small. I love your yellow color. I bet it's cool looking out of one eye. Yeah. And they all realized they liked the differences they had. It's great to be different. Hey, hey, yay. Okay, so that's, that's, that's her story. That's the one she illustrated. And this is, now, I know how to make these the right white up. So this is the book that we started off in. Here, here's the story. Here's how it looks. Just some words and some space to put something. And that's what you can do. And we thought we'd do various lessons for kids. And uh, I even have a Darien. And she's even draw a character that looks like me and has a big fat gut. It's great. This one I'm going to read to you. I can't give you any pictures. So I would really like you to draw one of those cool little characters, maybe for one of these pages that we can send to Whitney. Whitney's in Regina now, in case people are wondering, that had her and she's in Regina. She's expecting a nice little baby. And I would like to brighten up her day, besides doing this, but to have some of those pictures sent to her. So if I get them, they're going right to Whitney, or you just put them on, Whitney's going to love them. This one's called, What is Darian Good At? Now, a lot of us wonder, well, everybody's so good at stuff, but I'm not. And that's what this one's about. Ah, oh, yes. Everywhere Darian went, he saw friends that were good at things. Darian was not good at anything. Lou could burp better than anybody. He could even say the word Frankenstein when he burped. Darian could just give a little burp. Have you ever tried to burp Frankenstein? I used to do that as a kid. Frankenstein! Yeah. Al or Alex, probably from Australia, could run very fast. Darian couldn't run very fast. Shyla was the best at dancing. Carissa was the tallest. Marcy was the best at math timetables. Darian had trouble with the seven times tables. I, I can't do any of the timetables. I don't have the math side of my brain. That's why physics is not with me. Telsa had the best hair. Insert your name. Was dressed the best. Sethan always asked people to pull his finger. That's my chair. Darian did not want to be good at that. Come on, farts are funny. You got to put them in every book somehow. On his way home from school, Darian saw the funniest thing. He giggled about it all the way home, and he couldn't wait to tell his friends at school the next day. So Darian gathered all his friends at school around. He said, I saw the funniest thing. Yesterday I saw this prim and proper lady walking, and Darian did all the actions. She didn't have a noisy chair like this, though. Her nose was so far up in the air, she could not see what was on the sidewalk ahead of her. Dog poo. And it wouldn't be from Rocky. The skinniest monster he's ever seen ran toward her going, Look out! Look out! She thought she was being attacked. And she swung her purse at him repeatedly. And Darian did all the actions and the voices of the man and the woman. Every time Darian changed his voice, his friends laughed harder. Ouch, 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 said the skinny little man. And with every swing, she got closer and closer and closer to the poo. I 
kind of think somebody would draw a picture with a foot and then steaming poo. I don't know. It's the only picture I have in there because I can't draw. She slipped on the poo and fell into his arms, and they fell down together. He looks into her eye. My, you have a lovely eye. Would you like dinner? Darian made kissy noises to finish his story. And his friends laughed and laughed and laughed until they cried. Darian, you are the funniest and you're the best at telling stories. Darian felt great. Everybody's good at something. The end. Okay, we're all good at something. And uh, you're going to start practicing. we got lots of time during the day. So if you wanted to learn a guitar, there's a guitar there. If you wanted to do origami, origami is a folding art compared to me, which is an olding. Never mind. Uh, speaking about folding arts, tomorrow we're going to do De Bernoulli's Principle. I'm going to show you some demonstrations that you can actually do. And then, today, probably try making some paper airplanes. They're online. You go online. Tomorrow, when you learn Bernoulli's Principle, you will learn how to make your airplane fly better. And I'm going to give you some assignments with your paper airplanes and some fun things to do. So uh, I'm going to spend the afternoon making paper airplanes because I kind of, an, I'm a child. And so we're going to do a lot of that. I hope you enjoyed the stories. Um, make a picture for Whitney, okay? I want to, I want to throw Whitney into these, uh, you know. Some, and Whitney just said, sometimes it takes a little bit to find out what you're good at. Yeah, you try a lot. So do that, okay? Have a good day.